It is great to see our friend Travis Burks of Price Cutter because we never know what he's going to bring or what he's going to teach us about all the awesome show me beef and meats at Price Cutter. Great to see you. Yeah, Good you morning. Well. Nice to see you. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, happy yeah, Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. Huh? Yes. yes, we are. Uh, I just want to breeze through some stuff really quick. So in the ad this week, we do have, um, which the weather's up and down. So on the right. cold yeah. days, you right. want roast. On the warm days, you want <laughs> grilling. So T-bones are in the ad this week, uh, which is... Uh, a great option for grilling, especially this time of year. They look well, beautiful. They London, are so pretty. London broils and top brown roast. All that uh, is show me beef. It's exclusive yes. to price cutter, all local. That hey, beef. can I can I ask you guys a pop quiz question? It just yeah. came to me. Steaks. Uh huh. No sauce. Heinz 57 or A1. No sauce. Okay. It well. depends on who cooks it. Okay, that's, good, <laughs> yeah. that's very good. If I cook it, you know, sometimes that I have to do some everything. sauce, but I like a little butter and a little salt and pepper, and that's good to go. Yeah, I love Heinz 57 sauce. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. Sorry, if I had to pick a sauce, that would be the sauce. I do like that one. All right. <laughs> and then another option that we do have in the ad this week are whole boneless pork loins, which is this this piece of meat here that's up front. That's mm -hmm. Now, what I would like yes. to do today is show some options of what you could do. So if you see these in the counter, you could buy them like this whole. You could take uh -huh. it home. You could. Smoke it that way if you wanted right. to, or if you were educated enough, you could cut it at home yourself. Uh, what you can do then, once you cut it up, is you could freeze it. So if you wanted to oh, get a bunch worth of meals, you could mm -hmm. almost do that. Oh, so gosh, a piece yeah. like this, at the price that we have this week, you're looking at about 20 bucks for a whole bonus. That meal. is amazing. What an incredible yeah, price. Now, great. you're teaching us so that we are not intimidated about this. Right, and it's very, it's very easy. And again, you could grab these out of the counter, and they can do it for you in the meat shop. Again, pack it however you want. All right. Um, so you always want to start on the leaner end, and the way to tell that is you're going to have um, the rib end on this end, which is going to have a little bit more fat. Oh, so if you normally, no, wait, I, thought I would have guessed, like, oh, I would have I guessed yeah. this end. So if you, want, if you normally see normal pork chops, which would look like that there. Okay, yes. oh my goodness, look okay. at that. Wow. So if you have those like that, as well as um, if you wanted to do, I'm sure you've heard of butterfly chops. Yes. Right? Or stuffed pork chop, which would be the same. By the Same way, Trev, they have the stuffed yeah. pork chops at the meat counter already pre-made for you, mm. so you don't yeah, have to so do it. Yeah, so it's seasoned. I oh, love that's them. how you do so that. You, you don't would, cut it all the way through. Yeah, you would just have just a, a couple of butterfly chops. Okay. And again, that's still a meal for four. If you wanted to cook it that way, because you're going to have basically four chops at the same okay. time. Okay. So I think the, the hardest part for this would be for me so far is I would have started on that end. Yeah, I would have flipped that around. Can. You can if you want to. Just there's so many more options you could do out of this end versus what you could do out okay. of these other ends. But those yeah. pork chops are amazing. Uh, don't they look Again, beautiful? Again, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with like a breakfast pork chop, which yeah. is going to be a thinner, thinner cut. Okay. Kel, how would you like me to fry you up some pork chops or apple sauce? I'd like yeah. that, and I'd like a couple of eggs, please. All too. right, that a little, delicious. a little shake and bake. Yes, obviously. and I help. And I help too. Yeah. <laughs> and then you would have breakfast chops, so that would be your thinner cut. Very simple. Wow. You know, it's so interesting to see because we see it like this in yes. the store, but I would have not known that that's what this is or how to cut it. What we'll do is we'll just go ahead and go through here and finish right. these up in chops real quick. Wow, I'm Look. so impressed right now. Yeah. I'm gonna go home and pretend to be a butcher. <laughs> It takes years to learn how to be a good butcher. Dinner. I know. I can teach it. He could teach it, yeah, and he does. We okay, so, so then there would be a chop. So if the, you wanted the meat shop, Kelly, look how up. many meals you could have with this for twenty bucks. I cannot believe that and price. That, yeah, and that's just on the loin end, and of course they could pack those however you want. So then All you right. get to the roast end, which is going to have a little bit more fat on it. So I'm just going to cut this in half, so you can kind of see. So okay. this would be your pork loin roast. And okay. If you'll notice wow. on the end of this here, you're going to have. All right. Basically the ribeye of the pork. I see what you're saying now. The fat more in the center of the right. cut. And you're going to get a little bit more moisture out of that. Mm -hmm. Now what I like to do sometimes on the rib end is just cut them a little thicker like this. And then you could actually prepare uh, boneless ribs out of this Ooh. like this. And you would have. Oh, that's so pretty. Uh, that is so great. Just like this. So. Uh -huh. In that time frame, out of that 11 pound piece of meat, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven meals. That is Basically. incredible. Yeah, just cut it up and freeze it. So I do. think with my household, just two people, I think that could be 14 meals. It easily could be. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I agree. Like, if you packed so them two, or if you wanted, if you didn't want to use the roast, you could always still do chops. Chops. Sometimes people just want to take the whole thing, pack them in yeah, two to exactly. a pack, and pull them out as they need. I may do that. See, it's this very is simple. silly because I didn't understand. When I say ro roast, I always think of beef. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not you know. Not pork. Not yeah, pork. Yeah. There's so many different options. Yeah. And of course, these. So this pork loin that you see here with Prairie Fresh also come in a variety of marinated loins that are already done. 
mm -hmm. in yeah. the meat shops. So, anywhere, so would we do um, Kelly? Would we do the same thing with this one? Chop them up, yeah, pork just chops? the same way. You could, or just cook it like that. Oh. A loin roast that's already marinated. Now, this too. The, before we cut this, you uh -huh. could have also used that as a loin roast if you wanted. All right. It's whatever you prefer to do. Would you put that in the oven, Trav? Yes. Or Oh, you would. All yeah, right. Oven and the grill if you wanted to as well. All right. Uh, the same way with this this side here with the hunnis sriracha and the teriyaki. Those are just the tenderloin. So that's yeah. the the softer part of the pork. Well, this is a great way to do it and get a lot, but I'll tell you, I do like the way that you marinate them, and mm -hmm. they've been marinating for a while. They're so tasty, all the fish and all the yep. different things that you marinate. Yep. I, I feel nice. like this is such a great way to meal prep because mm -hmm. you're buying it for a great price, yeah. putting it in the freezer, and who, you don't have to use it in the next week. Exactly. You know, you right. could spread this out over time, and you have meals. Oh, quick meal. Oh, I've got those pork chops. Mm -hmm. It's in all the about the prep. And I can it? tell you that buying in bigger, so when you buy in the bag, you're you're getting more you're paying your, less, but right. you're getting more for your money. I think that's so. Good. Um, a value for a family or a belly filler, we would call mm -hmm. it. That's your better option. So even if it, if you see a pork loin like that, yeah. or a ten pound chub of ground beef, even when mm -hmm. you got the whole the whole thing, you could break that up into one pounds. Okay. Briskets, tri tips. Kelly, I wonder how many people at home are thinking, "Man, they're idiots for not knowing this." Because we're learning well, so and, much. Uh, I'm just be I didn't know. I really. I, I'm with you. Kelly. I always buy the meat already prepared, yes. so I don't know. Can I ask you, is this the roast in? That would be the roast in. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to figure this out. Nice. Okay. See, we're learning. We're learning. Very I Kelly, love that. I'm with you though because yeah. I would not see. That's what I buy. Yeah. I would not have. Known I don't know that what it looks at like. All. Yeah. Yeah. Very Uncut. easy. Very easy. And I would like to real quick. I did. We have Dover sole in the ad. You know, it is important to eat seafood twice a week. Right. So we try to push that as much as possible. So Dover sole's in the ad this week, which is a very good. I'm coming down by. Get on down I'm gonna come here. down here by you. Oh, okay. oh wait, hold on one okay. second. Oh, we did. Oh, sorry. Uh, we got I moved it. There we go. With a little sorry, rice guys. and and again, those those steam bag vegetables from the produce department. Just took me a few minutes. You to picked right. Jeremy's favorite vegetables there. I love those now, veggies. Now what is on? Do you have so a little? So it's a Mediterranean. So it has capers, green onions, little seasoning salts, mm. and cumin, mm. uh, olive that oil, is, garlic. Melt in your mouth, it's good. Really, really and good. it took about 12 minutes in the oven. Very quick. Very easy. I don't think yeah. I've ever eaten sole. Well, I know you got so. I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. Thanks, Travis. Travis, thank bet. you so much for what we mm. learned today. You Price bet. Cutter, go get the best deal here. All right, we'll be back right after this. That's so good. It is so good. I want to bet. Melt in too. your mouth. Cauliflower. A little bit. The cauliflower is good. Did you put butter on that? Different species. There is butter in there. Yeah. Mm.